Hello, and I want to wish you a warm welcome to students, faculty, everyone in between for my portfolio journey. Thank you for joining me today. I will be talking a little bit about myself, about my life, about the things that inspire me. I'll show some previous works, and then I want to touch on what I'm currently working on. So for a bit about myself, I am 23 years old. I was born and raised in Florida. I've lived here pretty much all my life. I have gotten a couple opportunities to travel and meet new people, which is something that I love doing, hearing about all different types of experiences and seeing how different people live and communicate. And later in my life, my parents were divorced, which led to a bit more of a need for a creative outlet, which is where I found my art and my passion. This led to me taking part in some formal art training when I was very young, and I moved into an artist program in my local performing arts high school. And that really drove me to want to continue that later on in life. As far as things that inspire me in my work, I have taken a few art history classes and learning about periods like French Rococo, the Greek and Roman art, Impressionism, Post-Impressionism, as well as things that are happening in the current day are all things that fuel me and my work. I'm also a big nerd for mythology and learning about different religions, and I like to bring in some of those into my own personal context in my work. And with this love for psychology and metaphysics, I've drawn a lot into the idea of the self. I really enjoy creating things with reflections and a lot of faces and points of view. I like to push some emotions in various forms, such as color theory and expression. And I really want most of my pieces to be about self-exploration, and I want them to be things that everyone can take a little piece out of when they look at them. A lot of my art started with drawing and collaging from various magazines, and you can see here I did a couple of small collages a couple of years ago, and I do draw a lot on collaging when I create some of my works. As you could see in some of my lithographs, there's a heavy collage element that I drew from the Art Nouveau style of making lithographic prints for advertisements and things like that. With that in mind and moving forward, I wanted to use all of those elements and the different tools I learned to blend these styles and create these prints which were based on collaging and Art Nouveau style of figures. Later during the crazy events of the pandemic, I as well as I'm sure many of my colleagues and fellow students have been feeling a lot of pressure within our art. So I wanted to do things that would allow me to branch out and feel a little bit more loose and not have to take myself so seriously, which is how I got these series of monoprints. And the monoprints were very easy to make and very quick for me to go through and just put down some colors, some idea that I had that I wanted to just make a quick print of. And some of them did end up turning into something a little bit more. These screen prints were just about some music that I was listening to at the time because I'm always inspired by music. Finally, going into the thing I feel like is the most interesting thing about my process is me being a colorblind painter. It sounds a little bit tricky just hearing that phrase, but I feel like I do use it to my advantage in some points. Um, I have an issue seeing certain colors like reds and greens and yellows and oranges and purples all put together, so sometimes they turn out a bit brown. I try to offset this by using a lot of very vibrant, bright colors, not so depicted in this one, but we have the theme of the reflection. This one is another example of my use of bright cadmium greens and cobalt teals to try and show off the environment or at least get me to see it properly. 
Moving into these, we have some bright aerosol spray, which is a fun part of my process sometimes. And going into my current work, I want to talk a lot about the figure, the self, and joining multiple parts of your emotions and your being to what we know as the human experience. I wanted this current series of paintings to focus on the relationship that we have with the self, as well as how that re relationship with the self can affect how we perceive the world, others, as well as how it affects those relationships. So I've created these two sister paintings to show the idea of arrogance and self-absorption and the effects that it can possibly have on your life. I want all my pieces to be a sort of celebration for life. I appreciate the works of the macabre and the supernatural and I don't want to touch onto themes that would make people feel depressed looking at my paintings. I want there to be a sense of joy that the viewer can take away from. And this, I feel like, exemplifies that with the interaction we have between all of the boys. I draw a lot of my inspiration from things that are happening around me at the time, and music is a big part of those things for me. I also take in the current events, I take in things that are going on with my own life, and sometimes, as previously stated, I want my works to feel celebratory, and I don't want there to be an ounce of sadness. I would like people to look at my work and feel the way the colors are portrayed. I also have a few process videos. This is one where I'm using some aerosol spray. Once again, I want to say thank you to everyone who joined me on this journey through my art portfolio. And if you'd like to reach out to me or contact me, I've left my phone number, my email, and my Tumblr, which is also my handle for most of my other social medias. And thank you again for listening.